Hi Marcella, it's Charles here. This is the sculling session from this morning. I'll start it at normal speed and then I'll drop it down. Slight pause at the catch there. We'll slow that down and you can really see what's happening. Now, there's a couple of things I want to point out. So, um, almost got the shins vertical there. Um, there's a pause because we're squaring rather late. Um, so what's happening is we're squaring and we're still squaring just as we arrive. So then we've got to sort of hang for a second. And then we're... Now I want... I'm just going to draw this. There's your back angle. Now watch what happens. Boom. To get the blade in, you're opening your back. If we back it up the other way now, what I want you to do is that's the height of your hands. Now watch what happens. You see how the hands go up? There? Hands shouldn't go up. They're in the water. The blades are in the water. They don't need to go any higher. Um, what's happening is your hands are going up and up and up. As a result, if you look right now, you've buried about a third of the shaft. But the other thing that you've done is you've opened your back up. So here we are now. We've got the shoulders above the hips and we haven't finished the leg drive. And... You can see the hands are now coming down and the blades are becoming shallower again. Um, it's causing a little bit of rise and fall in the boat, but that's not the big issue. The big issue is this opening of the back early. Tap out we talked about. Now, there's that pause again. Um, not the best catch, that one. We'll go on to the next one. You can see that back opening again. Now, there's that pause because we're squaring too late. We've got way too long sitting there. So when I say that I want you to place it earlier, we don't chop it in. It's we just reach forward and the hands go up. The hands go up a little bit. As soon as the blade is covered, all we're interested, as soon as the blade is covered, there, what I want you to think about is that we're driving the seat towards the bow. That you hang on the handle and you have no tension, no weight anywhere else. All you're doing is you've lifted the hands, you've got the blade in the water, and you hang on the handle, no further rise of the hands. You can see the hand, there they go, they're going up and up don't want to do that. Um, so we really want to fix this opening of the back early. Um, what opening the back does is it puts unnecessary load on your back early in the stroke. Uh, additionally, it robs you of the ability to use your arms and back to accelerate the second half of the stroke. So what you do is, in a very strong position, you drive in the first half of the stroke and then you finish off um, the stroke by opening your back and the hands accelerating in. That's how you get the maximum amount of boat speed. And there we are. Finished.